I feel like a drag queen, like low key. But I think it's 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 fine. Hey dolls, welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Just Me Re, and Happy New Year's! Oh my God, it is 2018, and I feel this is our year, guys. Like 2017 was, you know, it was cool. It was all right. I do think there was some stumbles in 2017, um, but I do feel 2018 has nothing but great vibes for us, um, success, love, fortune, all the good stuff, and growth, like especially growth like for our minds and all that. But um, yeah, happy New Year's, and if you're new to my channel, welcome, I'm Re. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button below, that helps me out a lot, and if you actually like the video, give me a thumbs up. That helps me out just as much. So today's video is going to be about my 2017 favorites. Things that I just used a lot in 2017. If you're interested in seeing the products that I used throughout 2017, continue to watch. <laughs> so in 2017, as far as like makeup, like foundation, starting with the base, what I love the most, oh my god, like this foundation, it's always flawless. I never get oily when I use it. I just, I can go out, be partying, I can be just in the hot, most hottest of hot place. I might feel like I'm oily, but I'm never like as oily as I think I am. And then finally, when I look in the mirror, I'm like, dang girl, your foundation is still like intact. It's still dope. So my favorite foundation is the Fenty foundation and I am in the shade 430. Ugh, this is my favorite foundation. I really do love it a lot. The only thing is, I don't know, I feel like I might be breaking out because of it, but I'm not gonna say that yet. In 2018, and anything is possible, okay? <laughs> so this is like my favorite so far. Um, hopefully it's not breaking me out. Hopefully it's something else. But this has been my holy grail for, I guess, the end of 2017. Um, I love this stuff so much. I think every this is everyone's holy grail. Shape Tape by Tarte. I'm actually in the shade Deep. I use this every single time I do my makeup. I use it to um, to set my to prime my eyes. I use it to obviously conceal. I love that it's matte. I love that it's a like full coverage. This is something that I think everybody enjoyed in 2017. I have two setting sprays that I just absolutely loved. One, um, actually, both of them I kind of just recently got. Um, before I got these two, I was using like I think it was the NYX or NYX setting spray and I didn't really like that too much. I don't think I really like the scent of it, but the two that I really love that are like have become like my holy grail is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This one I love so much. I mean the scent of it isn't the best, I won't lie. I don't really like it. Sometimes it feels a little bit like hairspray-ish. The, the spray isn't like, it doesn't come at you. It's, um, it's very gentle when you do spray it. And I really do enjoy that. It's affordable and it does keep my makeup pretty like lasting for quite some time. I just got this one and this one was a Christmas gift. Thank you, Kyra, if you are watching. I've been wanting this for so long. Like sometimes I'll use it to set my face. I usually like to use this like maybe before my makeup just to give me some type of moisture. Sometimes if I want like my highlight to pop a little bit more, I'll use that or such certain eyeshadows um, just to get um, its full like pigmentation this is the stuff that I really really do love using it's the best it is a little to me it's a little expensive because I didn't want to purchase it with my own money <laughs> so I've been missing out for a minute but now it's going in 2018 this is going to be something I have to invest in something that I do love fix plus from Mac is just going to have to be in my daily routine now thank you Kyra thank you you. I've tried so many like things for my eyebrows. I don't really have eyebrows. My eyebrows are so sparse. Um, and sometimes pomades, I've noticed that like they get really greasy looking and I didn't really like that too much. The pomades though, I've noticed that it just takes me so long to do my eyebrows. Like legit past 20 minutes. Like I just don't have that much time. Like it's like dang. All I got done was my eyebrows really <laughs> so um i have moved on to the anastasia beverly hills it is the brow definer and this is in the shade ebony i love this i use this every day no matter what even if i'm not wearing makeup i am using this because i don't have eyebrows and eyebrows definitely 
um, shape your face. It kind of like pulls your whole face together, I guess you would say. I am in love with eyelashes. Like when I'm going out and I have my face on, there's not just mascara. There's mascara and obviously lashes. Like we don't play games over here. They are used, I use these babies. <laughs> and they're my favorite ones. I didn't use them today just so I can show you guys the lash, but they are um, by Huda Beauty and it is the Newells in number 14. These are just oh, my absolute favorite. Any eye look they make, it just makes the eye look pop. Like these are like, ugh, but they're kind of expensive. I did get them during a holiday. They had 20% off. Originally, I do think these are 27, range from 25 to 27 dollars. So this is pretty expensive for an eyelash. This is how the eyelash looks. I don't know if you can see. It's very wispy. Oh my god. And full looking. I just love these so much. Um, but yeah, they are on the pricey side, so I try my best to take care of them as best as possible. And especially since I got them on um, sale, it's like, what? That was like the come up, like the come up of 2017. <laughs> I haven't tried a different uh, translucent powders to really like tell you yes to this one, no to this one, or that one. Um, but so far, this one, the Laura Mercier, has been rocking with me. It has been doing me right. So um, I really do love this one. This is obviously in the um, medium deep. I love this. Like, I love it. I do want to try other ones just so that I can compare to make sure that I really do love it. But this has been something that I've used a lot in 2017 and I think I might last until 2020 when Kanye West is supposed to be president. I did spend some some real coin on you girl. You welcome because I spent some coin. It's the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette at Desert Dust. This one oh my god like I could tell just online like I knew I was gonna love this palette. I'm really into eyeshadows that have like the warm pinky fills, orange and reds and golds and just like those rose gold stuff like all those type of eyeshadows like I really really love those. Those are kind of like my everyday looks for me. Yeah I just loved the pigmentation of it. I, I love everything about this to be honest just like every color goes with one another and I am in love with purple clearly. <laughs> um, so I love the fact that she popped a purple in there for us um, just to kind of give it some type of uniqueness to all like the warm tones. I feel like this is like this like a sister palette that you bring to another one just in case. Um, this one's going to pull your look together or give you that like little jazz. The Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. This, oh my god, like when I first, and I actually got this one on sale as well um, at the Urban Decay store. The shimmers are just to die for. It looks so good if you pop them on the like middle of your eye or in the inner corner of your eyes. Like this palette is just so nice to have. Next palette that I'm sure everyone, everyone knows that it's a must. Like if you don't know what you been doing. Like what you been doing girl? It is the Dare to Create 39A. I love, I know that's so extra me. <laughs> But I love this palette. Um, like I said, this one still has the like the warm tones over here, but then also I can explore with some of the um, cooler shades. I did use this palette to kind of create this look. The pigmentation is so nice. All the shadows are very, very creamy. I really do appreciate like the really big um, eyeshadows just because they are pretty neutral, and I think we always use like neutral shades for our crease for almost every single um look i do have favorites in this one it's this um purpley um color i really do love these two shades um these are sometimes this one's sometimes like my um transition shade and this one might be for my lid and then i also really do love this one most of you guys know that i use this as my contour shade so as far as brushes like brushes that i do see myself like most likely like buying duplicates morphe m200 i use this brush for every look like there's no way that i'm creating a look without this this is the one that i basically use 
for my like um, transition shades. It blends out so beautifully, like every eyeshadow, and this just never lets me down. So this is the M200. This has been like my basically my new favorite, which is the M510. And I do love this one when I'm feeling kind of lazy. I do use this in my crease, and I just boop 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 real quick with it it's in my crease it's blown out it looks effortless this is a must-have and then I feel like you can also use it for like a highlighting brush if you want I've been loving the M104 this is the Tarte um, the Tardiest it is a lip paint and this is in the color wannabe this one is like for any chocolate girls out there like me myself it's a little bit deeper than my skin tone but it like really does complement every single eyeshadow look like I've never like put this on and been like Ugh. like that's not cute so this one I did get on sale I think I got this one on sale too you guys need to really check out if like you want to shop at Sephora definitely shop there when they have 20% off or those discounts on certain um, makeup brands so definitely check them out during those times just so you can save a little bit more coin because Sephora honey child can be expensive more creamer please I'm actually wearing that on my lips right now the scent of this is so delightful. It's so yummy. It smells like vanilla cakes to me. And I'm just like, it doesn't taste like it, but it definitely smells like it. Cosmic Gloss. And this is in the color Spacesuit. This is like one of my favorites. One is, is actually beautiful too. I love like the little reflex of purple in it. And this is a really good lip topper. I do actually have this one on too. Um, on top of the, on top of more creamer please and last but not least my oh my god my favorite thing that I have purchased and I fell in love with it like fell in love I just can't believe I missed it the first time around but it is the Artist Couture and Jackie Ina collaboration for highlighters oh my gosh these are just amazing they're so beautiful my favorite is definitely LeBron's she killed it with the browns okay la girl right now I have on the peach the peach is really nice as well I felt like the browns might have been just a little bit too too dark you know for this makeup look that I have going on I spent $60 on it but I felt like it was not a bad purchase at the end of the day I am sleeping nice I'm still sleeping okay missing $60 like Thank you. <laughs> if you can only get one, I still say just get LeBron's. LeBron's is really, really pretty, especially for like if you're a dark skinned girl. I just think like it's a natural. Well, it's not natural because no highlight is natural, I think, but it looks um, like it's a, like a glow from within, you know, like that type of look. And definitely love peach is to just, you know, come through and show out like what? Excuse me. Did you <laughs> did you see my highlight? You can't talk to me. <laughs> so guys, that completes my 2017 favorites, like things that I use throughout the year. In the comments below if some of these are your favorites. What was your 2017 favorites, things that you're going to be using in 2018, things that you're just not going to get rid of no matter what people say. Please make sure if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. I love you guys all so freaking much. You guys are so amazing. I got so much love from my last video with the Jackie Ina one and I just want to say thank you so much because legit you guys keep me going sometimes I, I do feel a little like ah, YouTube is really hard to break out but if I'm touching anyone or just making anyone stay that is amazing to me happy New Year's guys love you throwing good vibes to you guys whatever it is that you want to do in 2018 you can do it it is your year it is my year it is everyone's year that does believe that and huh new year new me boo <laughs> all right guys see you bye Mwah.